definition, it is performed pre-operatively by the surgical team to eliminate transient flora and to reduce the resident skin flora. It is performed pre-operatively. Before any surgical procedures, we are doing the hand washing and also surgical team are performing to eliminate the transient flora. Transient flora means whatever microorganisms that came from somewhere else and it is in the outer body or in the surface. And the, to reduce the resident skin flora. Resident skin flora means whatever organisms that is already residing in the body or hand. When to perform the hand washing? First one, performing surgical procedures. Before doing a surgical procedure, before performing the biopsies, dressing surgical wounds or burns, before suturing the wounds, inserting a urinary catheter, wound drain, intravenous line or chest tube, using instruments to conduct a vaginal examination. So, before performing a surgical procedure, before performing biopsies, before dressing surgical wounds or burns, before suturing the wounds, before inserting a urinary catheter, wound drain, intravenous line or chest tube, before using instruments. Next, what are the purposes of surgical hand washing? It will remove debris and transient microorganisms from the nails, hands and forearms. It will reduce the resident microbial count to a minimum. I already told what you mean by resident microbial count. The normal microorganisms which are already residing in our hands. And also it will inhibit rapid rebound growth of microorganisms. Next one, what are the characteristics of a surgical hand washing? So first one is antimicrobial action. Second one is persistent activity. So the whatever hand wash we are doing, we are using it is showing some of the persistent activity and also it will kill some of the activities of the microbes. That is antimicrobial action. Then safety, whatever hand washing solutions we are using, it should be safety, should safe for our hands. Then acceptance. All the health team workers should accept that particular hand wash. This is regarding the characteristics of a surgical hand washing before going to select it. So there are two methods of scrub procedures. That are first one is numbered stroke method. That is each finger, palm, back of hands and arms. Second one is Timed scrub, that is each scrub should last from 3 to 5 minutes depending on facility protocols. So there are two methods of scrub procedures. First one is numbered stroke method, that is each finger, palm and back of hand and arm. Second one is timed scrub, that is each scrub should last from 3 to 5 minutes, that is depending on facility protocol. Next, we will see what are the difference between medical and surgical asepsis. So, in medical asepsis, it will reduce number of pathogens. And it is referred to as clean technique. It is used in administration of medications, enemas, tube feedings and daily hygiene. Hand washing is number one, medical asepsis. So, regarding the medical asepsis or medical hand washing, it will reduce the number of pathogens. It will not kill it will only reduce the microorganisms. It is referred as a clean technique before going to do any of the clean procedures like medication, before going to give medications, enemas, tube feedings and daily hygiene, we can use medical hand washing techniques. So regarding the surgical asepsis, it will eliminate all pathogens. Whatever pathogens is present in our body, it will eliminate it. And also it is referred to as sterile technique. Water procedures I told in previous slides, before all this, going to do that things, we can do surgical asepsis. And also it is used in dressing changes, catheterizations, surgical procedures, etc. Hope you understood. Thank you.